SFC, Sequential Function Chart, is a visual structured graphical language that utilizes PLC or Programma Logic Controller to organize application programs using flowcharts based on the processing order. SFC divides the application program into two main components, steps and transitions, providing a method to link in them. Each step is associated with a specific action, while each transition is connecting to transition conditions. We will program our first sequential function chart, SFC, in our LS Electric XGB PLC. SFC programming is commonly used in industries such as manufacturing, automotive, and process control, where complex sequences of operations need to be coordinated. It allows the programmer to visually organize the control logic, making it easier to design, understand, and maintain in the control system, or troubleshooting. SSC programming is beneficial for applications with many interrelated components and where the sequence of operations is critical to the system's overall functioning. This post will explore the fundamentals of programming an XGB PLC using the sequential function chart programming. We will be programming our lighted push buttons to control a start-stop circuit. This will show the basics of this IEC programming language. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Start a new project. Run the XG5000 programming software for the LS Electric PLC controllers. Under the main menu, Project, select New Project. This can also be selected using the shortcut key combination of Control plus N. There is also a new project icon on the main screen. The new project window will now be displayed. Give the project a name. The directory where this program is to be stored can also be set. Under the PLC selection, set the PLC that we will be programming. The CPU series is an XGB IEC. The type is an XEM-DXXXH2. And we will leave the default name of LSPLC under the program heading. We can name the SFC program and select SFC program as the programming language. A project description can also be put into the new project window to document what you are trying to do. Select OK. SFC Command Summary The new block program that we named will now be displayed. This is where we will program our sequential function chart code. Under the main menu, Edit Tools, a list of all SFC instructions will be displayed. This is also shown in the top menu icons in the corresponding shortcut keys. Step F3 In relation to action, step functions as a control unit for sequences. Where each step is activated, the corresponding content of action is executed. You must first activate the initial step. Transition. A transition indicates the conditions required for execution between steps. Each transition condition must be expressed using PLC language, either in structured text or ladder diagram. The result of the transition condition must always be a Boolean type and the variable name should be trans for transition. If the transition condition evaluates to true, 1. The current step is deactivated and the next step is activated. Transitions are mandatory between each steps. Action F4 Each step can contain up to two actions. A step without any action is considered a waiting action, which means it waits until the next transition condition becomes true, or a 1. An action is defined using PLC languages such as ladder diagram, sequential function chart, or structured text and the action executes while the step is active. An action qualifier is used to control the action. When the action is deactivated after being activated, any output contacts activated during the action will revert to zero. Action qualifier. Action qualifiers are used whenever an action is applied. According to the assigned qualifier, the action related to the step defines an execution point and the time. The types of action qualifiers are as follows. N, non-stored. Action is executed only when the step is activated. S, set. As the step is activated, the action is kept executing until the R qualifier is executed. R, overriding, reset. 
It terminates executing an action previously started by the S, SD, SL, or DS qualifier. L, time limited. After the step activation, action is executed until the step becomes inactive or until the time set elapses. D, time delay. After the step activation, action is executed from the moment the set time elapsed until the step is inactivated. P, pulse. Action is executed only for the one scan when the step is activated. SD, stored in time delay. After the step activation, action is executed from the moment the set time elapses until the R qualifier is executed. However, if the R qualifier is executed before the elapsed set time, the action does not execute. DS, delayed and stored. After the step activation, action is executed from the moment the set time has elapsed until the R qualifier is executed. However, if the R qualifier is executed or the step is inactive before the elapse of the set time, the action does not execute. SL, stored and time limited. After the step activation, action is executed until the set time has elapsed or the R qualifier is executed. Block step, F5. When the block step is activated, the specified SFC sequential function chart program within the block is executed. Only SFC programs are permitted. LD, ladder diagram, or ST, structured text programs cannot be included. It is important to note that actions cannot be linked to block steps. When the block step is deactivated, the SFC program running within the block is also deactivated. Label, F6. Labels can be placed on your sequential function chart depending on the sequence of operation for your logic. Jump, F7. The jump, SFC instruction, can return to a label within the sequence. Left branch, F8. Right branch, F9. When the upper step is activated, the next transition with the condition set to 1 is activated among the multiple connected transitions. The executed branch is the first transition activated, reading from left to right. In this example, if the transition condition of T4 and T5 is 1, the scan order is S1, S4, S3. The processor chooses the leftmost path. Creating the variable list. The first thing to do is to create a variable list we will use in a program. Under the Program Project window and the LSPLC, double click on the Global Direct Variables. This will call up the Global Direct Variable window. You can now enter the physical inputs and outputs previously wired to our LS Electric XGB PLC. Our sample SFC program will control a start stop circuit. When the start push button is pressed, the green LED light will light up and the red LED light will be off. When the stop button is pressed, the red LED light will light up and the green LED light will be off. Initially, the red LED will be on at the start of this SFC program. Save the program. Create the SFC program, XGB PLC. Select the sample SFC program window. We can now create the sequential function chart code. All available commands for the SFC are under the main menu, Edit Tools. The shortcut function code is also listed to the right of each command. There are also SFC command icons on the main menu in the XG5000 programming software for your convenience. Click the step command F3 and move your mouse to the sample SFC program area. Click the spot where you'd like to place the step and transition. The step is set for the default of S0. Double click on this step will allow you to change the label. We will leave this as the default S0. Click the action command F4. Select the S0 step for this action. The action property windows will be displayed. Select the find to select the green LED variable and select OK. Since we are not finished with this step action, select the arrow or escape from the main menu icons. Double click on the action for the step to recall the action properties window again. Change the qualifier from N, non-stored, to R, overriding reset. Select OK. Click the action command once again and select the previous action. This will again call up the action properties window. The default type is variable. Select the find button and select the red LED variable. Change the qualifier to S set. When the first step is executed, the green LED light will be off and the red LED light will be on. 
The transition to the next step is shown on the bottom of the previous step. Double click on the box next to the transition. This will display the transition properties window. Select the variable under the type heading. Select find. Select the start variable to transition to the next step. Select the step command again and click the transition from the previous step. This will place the next step S1 after the transition. Set the actions for this step so the qualifier will set the green LED and reset the red LED. Select the transition after step 1. This will add the boolean variable non-stop for the transition condition. Our SFC program is now complete. However, we need to define the latest non-stop variable now so it will change when required. Right click on the scan program. Under the add item menu, select program. The program properties window will now be displayed. Name this program and ensure the language is set for ladder logic LD. We can now set the condition for the non-stop contact so that SFC program will transition back to step zero. Since the stop push button is wired normally closed and C, we will use the normally closed stop contact to turn on the non-stop output. This is the end of our program. Save the program. To check the program, select it from the main menu view. If we had an error, it would show up as an error warning in the program check dialog. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like button below. Keeping up with all the latest automation innovations can be difficult, so hit the subscribe button. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription tax to receive those notifications. Transfer the program. Select Main Menu Online Connection Settings. This will call up the Connection Settings window. Select Network Browsing and then expand the Ethernet option. This will search your network for the LS Electric XGB PLC. Click on the IP address found and select OK. Returning to the connection setting windows, we can now select connect. The bottom of the XG5000 programming window will be red. This tells us we are communicating with our XGB PLC, which is in stop mode. Transfer the SSC program to the XGB PLC by selecting right from the main menu online. The right to PLC window will be displayed. We will leave all the settings as their default and select OK. Our program will now be transferred to the PLC. The write complete message will be acknowledged by selecting OK. The PLC connection will then be stopped which is the blue bar at the bottom of the XG5000 programming software. Select connect from the main menu online. We will once again be connected to the PLC. Monitor, modify the program. Select the monitor icon on the main menu. This will show the status of our program as it executes in the PLC. Select the Run icon on the main menu. Select Yes to verify that we want to change to Run mode. The bar at the bottom of the programming software is now green, indicating that we are communicating with the PLC and it is running our code. Operate the green and red push buttons to verify the program's operation. The Sequential Function Chart SFC program illustrates the basic control logic for our start-stop circuit. Now let's modify the stop start circuit. Select disconnect from the main menu online. Double click on the action property for the green LED in step 1. Change the qualifier to L time limited. Under the time change this to 10 seconds. If the syntax error like time format happens a warning message will be displayed indicating the format expected. 
The XG5000 programming software is very intuitive. Select OK. Save, connect, and transfer the program again to the XGB PLC. Monitor and test our new logic by operating the push buttons. You will now see that the start push button is pressed. It will only be on for 10 seconds or until the stop button is pressed. Let's modify the non-stop condition in the ladder so that when the green LED light turns off after 10 seconds, then the transition is also activated. Using online editing from the ladder logic code, we can now add a trailing negative edge trigger for the green LED light in our parallel with the stop button. Once we've finished our online modification of ladder, write the modified program to the PLC. Monitor the new program and watch the operation. The step ends when the green light turns off after 10 seconds or if the stop button is pressed. Programming an XGB PLC using sequential function chart, SFC, language offers a powerful and flexible approach to designing control logic for industrial automation applications. You can develop robust and reliable programs for the XGB PLCs. With continuous learning and adaption to new technologies, you can leverage SFC program to create innovative industrial automation and control system solutions. The XG5000 programming software allows you to troubleshoot with visual cues and aids quickly. Now that you know SFC programming, click here to learn more about programming and structured text, XT. Click here to see all the available information for the XGB PLC from LS Electric.